Hello and welcome back to these videos on Spacey 3.0 and Python for digital humanities or anyone who's just generally interested in NLP, especially custom NLP. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to build off the last video where we saw how to add a pipe. In this video, however, I'm going to show you how to add a pipe with a custom name. Now in the last video, we saw that we got an error. We're going to address how to fix that right now. So let's go ahead and import Spacey, run that cell or that kernel. And what we're going to do is we're going to then say NLP is equal to spacey dot load. We're going to load in the N core web web SM, the small English model. Now, in the last video, I showed you how to um, print off print NLP dot pipe underscore names. And you can see all the different uh, pipes that are in your essentially your NLP model. What we're going to do in this video is show you kind of why the error that we had before happened and how to kind of fix it. So the first error that we saw happened when we tried to do NER. We tried to add another NER component. So we could do this by doing NLP .add pipe and NER. And we got the error that looked like this. And it told you that NER already existed. Now, on the surface, it might look like you can only have one NER component. But this is far from the truth. Sometimes in a model, especially more complex and robust models, you'll want to have different NER models that do different things, and they function at different positions in the pipeline. So right now, let's just try to add in another NER that has a different name, because you have to have a different name. We can do nlp.addPipe, and we can add NER, and we can pass in the keyword argument name, and make that equal to whatever name that you want. In this case, I'm going to stick with what I talked about in the last video, which was camp underscore NER. And when I do that, let me copy and paste this up here. We'll see that it gets added to the end of our pipeline right here after the limitizer. But sometimes when you're creating a pipe and trying to add it into a pipeline, you don't want to have uh, you don't want to have the pipe at the end. You want to have it in a special place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another pipe. We're going to call this ghetto NER, and we're going to try to put it before the limitizer. So we can do this the exact same way that we did with Spacey 2.0, except by passing in this string argument of NER instead of creating a different pipe. And now we're going to say name is equal to, we're going to call this, like I said, ghetto NER, so a model that would be able to identify ghettos. And we're going to say before equals limitizer. We're going to pass in a string that's equal to that where we want to put it before. And if we do this, we can once again run NLP names, and we see that ghetto NER comes right here before limitizer. Likewise, we could do something similar. We can use the same after argument before, and let's say we want it to come after parser. Let's create another name now. We're going to call this uh, city NER. And if we run our script again for NLP names, we see that now our city NER is right before, or sorry, is after parser. So the same way that we used to pass in these arguments of name, these keyword arguments of name, after, and before, you can still do all those in Spacey. The thing that's going to break for you is once again, this string. You have, the string is going to be the predefined set of tokens. And if you need to remember a, a good list of, or a, sorry, a predefined list of factories, if you need a good way to remember this, so you can do add pipe. This is also in the spacey documentation. Just put in anything here and you'll get an error. And down at the bottom of the error, it'll tell you all of the available factories. In the next video, I'm going to cover what a factory is and why it's important to be familiar with them if you're going to be doing more advanced NER or any kind of NLP task using spacey. These are all the available factories and essentially they're pre-built uh, functions that are classes that explain to Spacey how to handle a specific task in a pipeline. So that's going to be what's now passed right here is the string that corresponds to one of these one of these factories. In this case, we're sticking with NER. In the next video, we're going to try to make a custom factory that's just going to do one simple thing. It's just going to print off something for us anytime we try to run it. But that essential task can be used to do more complex things like limit the amount of output from one pipe in a pipeline, control different things like we saw in my Spacey 2 series. That's going to be what we do in the next video. If you now know how to add a custom name to a pipe, 
and know how to put it before and after using Spacey 3, then congratulations, you've gotten everything out of this video that I wanted you to get out of it. And if you've liked it, please like and subscribe down below. And if you feel generous, please do contribute on Patreon, also linked in the description down below.